Hi there, my name is Tove Kane and thank you for taking the time to be a part of this mindfulness moment. It's so wonderful to come together and to share what it is to be in a moment. There are various components to mindfulness. We often talk about open awareness, not being judgmental, attention, we think about the choice, what it is to come into mindfulness. We think about not identifying with various feelings, being stuck too deeply in those feelings. So there are a range of different qualities of mindfulness, which I think really could benefit us as we continue through this lockdown period. And we'll just be a few minutes here with these mindful moments. And I wanted to just bring you to the mindful moment that I'd like to highlight today, and that is attention. So we're very often not present in our lives. And we can see that often when we're doing chores or things that we do repeatedly, we're not really present in that sequence of events. Almost go into a, a semi-automation because our minds are engaged elsewhere. We have other things that are preoccupying us. And what that means is we're not really paying attention to that specific task. And it also means that the mind that is preoccupied, say it's preoccupied with the anxiety of how am I going to recoup the losses I've made during this lockdown period? That in itself causes you to constantly rehash the scenario of what if. So with mindfulness, as we use the one of the core components being attention, it might help you to just drop into attention as often as you can, no matter what the task is. So my suggestion to you is let's highlight, shall we choose three tasks? I love the number three because it's manageable. We can, we can get through that. So my suggestion is to pay attention to the next time you're brushing your teeth. What that looks like is the awareness as you have the toothbrush in your hand, the weight of the brush, the toothpaste, what does it look like as you spread it onto the brush, and you'll become aware of that peppermint scent of the toothpaste. So really smell that, identify the smell of the toothpaste. So you've seen what it looks like, you've felt the weight of the toothbrush, so you've got that tactile experience. And then when you put the toothbrush in your mouth, notice how the toothpaste spreads across your teeth. And when you're brushing your tongue, it feels like a different experience than when you're brushing your teeth. And become aware of what happens in the mouth when the toothpaste is all around in the mouth and how the toothpaste seems to foam up. And what you'll discover is during that sequence, it's not often that we pay that level of attention to a task as menial as brushing our teeth. But what happens is when we offer that degree of focus and attention, our mind is then engaged in that task. And in fact, you can specifically ask for the mind to join you in the task of paying attention. The mind really loves a task. It loves being set a challenge. And you can ask it to help you to be a part of that task. And as you brush your teeth, with that amount of attention, you're possibly a little less focused on the anxiety of how will you recoup after the COVID-19 lockdown. 
So that's one of the challenges. The second challenge is often we tell ourselves, I can't sleep, I battle to sleep. So how about when next you go to sleep, that you just bring all your awareness to what it's like as you drop down with your head on your pillow. Notice the temperature of the pillow on your cheek. Notice if there's a fragrance in the room. Maybe your pillow has your own body scent about it and that is what gives you comfort. As you can see, I'm always trying to help you to engage your senses to help spread that extended focus. And if you're a person who likes to scrunch your pillow up to make a certain shape, well, just feel the tactile nature of the pillow. And then become aware of your body literally just relaxing as you experience, I'm going to rest now. So that's resting. That's brushing your teeth. And the third one is when you wake up after a rest. Normally we get up and we get going, we've got things to do. It is a little different now because of the lockdown. We maybe aren't setting alarms quite as fastidiously as before. But just notice yourself waking up. Notice what happens, how quickly the mind starts its dialogue. How quickly the thoughts start to rush in. And perhaps you can just bring yourself to that place once again of saying, you know, Tove suggested I pay attention to this moment of waking up. So let me experience, how does my body feel as I wake up? Do I feel refreshed? Do I feel replenished? Do I feel invigorated? Do I still feel a bit tired? Just get a sense of what the body is telling you. So those three places are somewhere that you can start to bring your attention and your focus. And that is what mindfulness is. It's not always about meditating. It's also about attention. I'm Tove Kane. Thanks for watching these mindful moments and be kind to yourself and those around you.